going everyone? Oh my god. <coughs> What's going everyone? What's going everyone? What's going everyone? It's KT Pop here coming at you with a brand new video. As you'll be able to see <laughs> and hear, oh my god, I actually didn't plan that. I am still pretty oh, sick. sick. I don't know what is going on in Melbourne at the moment, but there is legit some crazy shit going on out there. So please stay safe and healthy for the love of Lord Taman. <coughs> Last week, we unboxed the photo book versions of ATEEZ's Golden Hour. Today, I'm gonna to be opening the Digipack version and the platform version. Da, 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 da. I also have a bunch of really fun pre-order benefits to look at after we've looked at the albums, so stick around until the end. Digipack version. So I'm sure none of you are surprised that I got the Yasang version. Look at him, isn't he beautiful? The most beautiful man in the world. I haven't actually looked at this up close yet. I just got it last night. So I am very excited to look at the deets and get into it. Here he is on the front, just a classic. Classic pose, he loves this angle, loves this side of his face. Very simple, clean look here. The hair is a little bit like permed, got a little bit of a curly look going on and a lovely white jumper and a simple earring. This is all he needs, simplicity. Gorgeous. Golden Hour Part 1. ATs. On the back, nothing special. It looks very similar to the photo book versions, but is a kind of maroony colour with gold detailing on there. KQ Entertainment. Golden Hour Part 1. Should we get into it? No. Don't need to ask anyone's permission on this channel. It's my channel and not yours. Ooh, it feels nice. Feel that qual. My friend last night opened it and said that it felt really nice quality. Um, and it does, it really does. Even this feels like kind of sandpapery, but like not in a weird way. ASMR. No, it feels really nice. Looks like a little bit of a flip flip situation. No magnets? No magnets. Just gravity. Gravity. Ah! Oh my God. Why is he so cute and beautiful? Oh, it's got his name in here. Quality. Goal now part one and my man. What's going on here? All right, it looks like all the inclusions are in this side. So let's open this up and see what's going on over here. Oh, I kind of like how they've done this. We're gonna need to zoom out. <laughs> so we've got a little photo book on the side here and here's the CD in the middle. This is nice too, what the fuck? Everything's so nicely textured in here. I'm a very like textural person, especially with like food and stuff. I really love like crunchy foods. This is very nice to me, very tactile. We only found out recently that, you know, there's two flavor and texture. Okay, so this sickness has been fucking with my taste buds. Like I haven't been able to taste properly for like two days. It doesn't taste like anything, you just get a feeling. You're like, oh, I know that this is sweet, but I can't taste anything. And that's fucking with my head. Like it's changing my perception of what taste is, to be honest. <laughs> Bulldak, like hot chicken noodles, hot chicken noodles. <laughs> I could taste that they were spicy, but I couldn't taste them. It was just a feeling. I'm gonna not think about it too much. It's gonna hurt my little brain. Brain only for your son today. All right, let's have a look. 80s. I actually love this maroon color. It's very 2008. So is it just gonna be pictures of him or? I think so. There might be like one group photo or a couple of group photos, but I think it's mostly just gonna be him. Ah! I really like this look. Very boyfriend. Um, is he wearing anything underneath that? I feel like in these little slits, I can see his skin. <laughs> his balls up here. Oh, you can't see. I can't see. <laughs> <laughs> ah, no, he's not wearing underneath anything underneath this. I actually remember the behind the scenes video. Well, I saw a photo of him from behind. Face back. Face back. So the whole back of this is just, you know, knit, like cable knit. And there's nothing underneath. So I saw a really nice picture of him from behind and you could just see the shape of his body and back. Face back. Face back. Oh, I feel like I'm gonna have a lot of coughing fits in this video, because this is gonna like, fuck me up. So many gasps, the great gasping. The great gasping. <laughs> but that's from me seeing dogs on the street and just gasping. Same as when opening albums of 80s, I suppose. His eyes look massive here. Oh, what is this? Some sort of corporate building? Imagine if he walked into your office and he was there. No work was done that day. Oh my God. I wonder if there's gonna be a photo from behind. <laughs> that sounds so wrong. Every time. Can't get through oh. one of these. What without talking about from Dang behind? one of these people. <laughs> well, this is my alt bias in K-pop, so I'm allowed to talk about it like that. Yeah, it's not him. I'm allowed to talk about him like that. Ah! Side profile. Best in K-pop. Oh, he looks so small. Oh, it's so boyfriend, these photos. Ah! <laughs> Can't breathe. Is it the sickness or is it him? 
We'll never know. Oh my God. It's getting closer. He's like flipping over. It's gonna show more back. <laughs> oh, wow. He just always looks so much better in album pictures than he does like on photo cards or like on Instagram and stuff. Like sometimes he's just way too edited, but when he just has these photos with this natural makeup and these boyfriend clothes, it's just, it's mind blowing. Like I don't understand how he's even a real person to be honest. Absolute angel. <sighs> Can't breathe. Staring into my soul. Maybe I need to buy green Converse. That's a vibe. <laughs> I want to cry. Ah, there we go. That's what you wanted, Josh. Your group pick. That's what I wanted. <laughs> I want to know who your bias in ATs is. I feel like maybe Hong Jun would be your vibe. Would be your bias. Let me know in the comments down below who you think his bias is. That could be pretty interesting to see. Um, here we have the track list. Goal now, blind, work, empty box, shaboom, siren. All bangers, in my opinion. I'm a bit partial to Shaboom, as I said previously, but Siren is definitely a close one, and Work is constantly in my head all day, every day. Gotta work. Lyrics. Music and lyrics. Album credits, and that's the end. Ah! All right. Let's see what we get in here, shall we? I think they're all face down. What else in here? You hiding anything from me? No. A little 80s sticker in the maroon color with a uh, gold, <laughs> I was like, yellow? No, not yellow, gold. Gold lettering. What else we got? Oh, here's your little uh, qr -E code thing for your game. Superstar 80s. Shoo. I mean, feel free, you can steal the QR codes. I don't play the thing, so scan away. Little 18 -y. uh oh. <sighs> There's lots of dust on here. This is impossible to see on camera. <laughs> I'll have to put something behind it. Oh, there we go. We can just use his face to show his face. Wow, that's pretty cool, actually. Look at this. Can't see anything. Whoa. Oh, just wait till you see that, Josh. That's fucking wild. <laughs> but here we have like a little, um, like a clear little I don't know, what do you call this thing? What do they call it? They call it a slide film. So yeah, I guess it's supposed to be like a, you know, those reels of movies, 28, 34 millimeter. You know there, what's it called? <laughs> film? Yeah, <laughs> it's supposed to be like film. <laughs> Back in, you know, the nineties when you got like your, I can't find cool. words today. <laughs> in a little golden frame. <laughs> golden hour part one. Oh, oh no, it is the same. I, thought, gonna be <laughs> I don't know, I'm a fucking it's idiot. Transparent. <laughs> this is cute, I like it. And this one is not um, random, you get who you get, so that's nice. This seems to be some sort of bookmark, I think. Let's have a look who's on the other side. And we have your song again, yay. This is not random either, so there we go, we have a little bookmark of him. I always do this as an example. <laughs> Let's bookmark my favourite page. So people know how bookmarks work. No, I must show the people. Let's go with this one. Not, not a side profile page. Actually, well, that's kind of side profile, but there, you're right, there was that one that was really side profile. This one, this one. Yay! And then it gets all bent. And we have the photo card. I believe the photo card is random, which makes me very unhappy. So all the albums are burgundy? All the member versions? All the Dig Digipack member ones? Yeah. yeah, I think so. Okay. Oh, okay, maybe it's not random, or maybe it is and we got lucky, but we have him. This is so cute. He's like blowing a kiss, love the pose. This is actually like one of my favorite photo cards I've seen from this comeback so far. So I'm very, very happy. I really like how the hair's a bit permed, a bit messy, and this green shirt is just incredible. He should always wear green. My favorite outfit of all time that he's worn is a green long sleeve top. If you know 80s at all, you will know exactly what I'm talking about. Always put him in green, please. Stylists, obsessed with this photo card. It is amazing. I just really wanna know if that was random or not. Can you just look? <laughs> yeah, but I, I can't really tell. I think there's literally eight. Oh, okay. Random one out of eight. There's eight photo cards per digipack per member. That's fucked. <laughs> How the hell am I supposed to get all eight of those? 
K-pop collecting is seriously gonna shorten my lifespan, I reckon. Speaking of lots of photo cards to collect, let's get into the platform version. The platform version is basically just photo cards and stickers. Always love a bit of platform action. Do you? No. Let's see if we can pull some. You're sewing for this so I don't have so many to collect. Just a little orange box here. 80s Golden Hour Part 1. 80s 10th mini album, Golden Hour Part 1. 80s 10th mini album, Golden Hour Part 1. 80s. <laughs> and the songs listed on the back there. Let's get into it. God, I feel like I'm going to bend this cardboard. Yeah. Not so much textural action going on here, but this is kind of embossed, which is nice. Let's get in. I really don't like storing these little boxes on my shelf. I'm like, what do I do with this? All right. Okay. If we go that way, I think we're good. All right. Nothing else in there. Start with the Joker cards. Got a QR code. These ones look like they will be the random photo cards, so I think we'll leave those to the end. This will be like a member set, but I'm pretty sure the member is random, but they will probably all be the same member. And this will be random, the QR. And then we have one sticker here, orange this time, but not very shiny, like... Oh no, I guess it's similar. Just doesn't show up that well on the orange, the gold. This is... I don't know. A bookmark or something. Just a little piece of cardboard that says Gold Now Part 1 and some of like, you know, the rights reserved and shit on the back there. This is the QR code that you'll scan to get your music using the mini record application. Will that be the sam same QR code then? I guess so. Let's start with our QR code and see who we get. Oh! <laughs> Songwa. He looks so good. I... <laughs> I was telling my friend Megan who buys a song art that she should probably skip the photo book version video because my reactions were a little bit too positive and I didn't want her to get annoyed and jealous. Um, so I tried to make that like toned down, but I don't know if that came across toned down. To it. <laughs> he's just so beautiful. One of the most beautiful men I've ever seen. And this top is my favorite that he's worn in this comeback. All right, let's have a look at what we get here. If I am correct, these are all the same member. Let's see. Hanjun! Oh no, they're all different. Okay, so this is a set, I think, of all the different members then. Maybe everyone gets these ones. Songwa, you know, Yosang, San, Mingyi, Ooyoung, and Jongho. <laughs> Tripping over my words. These are cute. Okay, that's cool. So we get like a full set. I like these pictures. They're from that concept that had all those like shadow pictures and stuff. I think these are really nice. Sepia tones on trend. Sepia tones on trend. Put that in your, I don't know, lookbooks or something. On you your Pinterest? On your Pinterest. Do people still use Pinterest? <laughs> I don't know. No, that's not gonna work. <laughs> <laughs> so these ones will definitely be random. We've got a orange background here and a white background. Which one should we start with? White. I'm gonna go white. Who are we gonna get? All right, let's manifest. Manifesting! My main man. Okay. <laughs> let's go! Ah! It's Mingy. <laughs> Did you think it was gonna be him by how I screamed? Yep. No, but I do love Mingi. He is looking mighty fine in this little cardigan here. I love all these like boyfriend looks that they've got with all the cardigans. I think it just really feeds into um, 18ies Delulu. What is that on his necklace? Like a little palm tree or something? That's kind of vibes, a little bejeweled palm tree. And yeah, he's looking very cute. Not doing his normal, oh, kind of. He does this um, kind of trademark smile a lot, which isn't super prominent in this one, but yeah, I like his hair as well, split like that. It is very cute. Let's see if we can get some luck because I never pull your song, so. Chup, 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 chup. <laughs> this looks witch shit. Who is it? Why are you asking me? <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> yeah, I'm so <laughs> oh my god, we did it guys! We did it! 
This is the cutest fucking photo card I've ever seen. Look at this like flower wall. <laughs> I'm gonna have a coughing fit. Uh, let's move that out the way. <laughs> No, oh, Minky. I love you, Minky, but come on. This is perfect. I love this photo card. He's in the sunshine. He's got a little sunshine coming on his face and the denim with the red pinky flowers. I think that's a really nice contrast. His skin looks amazing. Simple makeup, beautiful hair. It's just, this is his essence in a photo card, like absolute fairy in a fairy garden. I'm obsessed. And I'm so happy. <laughs> oh my God, I'm gonna like really just treasure this. <laughs> Stop laughing at me. Oh my God, yay! Oh, my luck, my luck won out today. Thank you, thank you, Lord Taman. He was listening, I needed that today. And I did just have some photo cards that I wanted to show you, some pre-order benefits. Um, but first, this one isn't a pre-order benefit. If you watched my previous video, you know that I pulled a lot of Wuyang, who I don't collect but one of my friends is a big fan of him and we managed to do a trade. I'm probably not gonna take it out because it will be too much effort, but yes, I think this is super cute. And she's put it in a really nice sleeve for me that's all hollow. And look at the fucking washi tape. Evolutions, oh, you'll like this, look. That's pretty cute. Super happy. My collection is finally signed to come along. And with that other pull as well, we are on track, everyone, we are on track. So these are some of the pobs that I got. So this is the one for the Digipack, the pre-order benefit from Tok Tok. This is the same store that we got the photo book version one from in the last video. Very cute here with a little cheek pinch and the green shirt. Big, big fan of this green shirt, as we know. It's looking a little bit washed out here, which I'm not super happy about. They filtered it a little too much on the white side for my liking, but it is a very, very cute pose. On the back, we've got like a nice purple color. The colors of this comeback are like, a bit of a vibe, to be honest. This one was for the platform version album and it was a pre-order benefit from Tok Tok as well. In another green shirt, just keep putting them in green shirts, people. This one I really, really like much more than this one. I love the little pose and the sulky face. I just think this is very, very cute. And it's nice to have a photo card that's sort of like a different pose and from a different angle. And I like the wall actually, because <laughs> the wall really matches the shirt well. Like all the colors just come together really nicely. I then have these lovely little extras that my friends picked up from for me from Happy Town. Happy Town is a K-pop store in Melbourne and sometimes they sell pre-order benefits sort of separately and yeah, you can pick them up for a pretty good price. So we got these ones on the back. They actually say the store, so I don't have to remember where they're from. This one was from Dear My Muse. And we have a little hairband here with a little bunny rabbit on. So, so cute. Peace sign and the cardigan with the um, mesh cutout back that we saw in the Digipack version. And this one was from All MD. This nice greeny gray shirt. A lot of chest showing here, which is nice. Very cute pose, a little heart cheek pose. These were probably taken seconds apart, <laughs> it looks like. I think this one is definitely my favorite out of these four. My pop collection for this comeback is getting a little too large for my liking. It's gonna make me start to um, wanna just have them all, which is not ideal for my wallet, but there's so many cute ones. So here are my pulls from the Digipack and the Platform album for ATEEZ's Golden Hour. We have the Digipack photo card here. We have the random ones that we pulled from the Platform album and also the QR from the Platform album. So all the random ones that we got. Then we have some of the pobs at the bottom. We had a nice little look through these, the ones from Tok Tok for the Digipack and the Platform. And then these little extra ones that I got from Dear My Muse and All MD. We also then obviously have the lovely photo card set that we got from the Platform album. Nice mix of members. This Remember. is the mix of members that I want for 80s. I'll say it. So that was part two of my 80s Golden Hour unboxing. I really hope you enjoyed my reaction to pulling those photo cards because I really did have the best time. Hopefully I'll be back in the saddle and I can get that really extra special video out for you guys ASAP. Let me know in the comments down below who your 80s bias is. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing. It would mean so, so much to me. Thanks again for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye. Wow, I sound really sick. <laughs>
can't wait to be coughing for the next two months. <coughs> and my voice keeps going, Ugh. You're fucking dying. I'm sick. This has gone off track real fast. I don't really know what to do. Can you give him a kiss? <laughs> well, actually. <laughs> oh my God, now there's a big <laughs> lipstick mark on it. Ah. Did that seem a bit like... <laughs> Doesn't all of it? <laughs> life's a show, life's a cabaret. Nothing is real, everything's <laughs> an act. <laughs> We're living in a simulation. She's got fever. <laughs> Of a hundred and three. <laughs> Stop. Ready, spaghetti, go. I just know you want me to spaghetti, but I'm <laughs> just trying to look up something quickly. Because look, it shows there's eight members of 80s, right? And there's eight photo cards per member. Same member as cover, but random one out of eight. Oh my God, what a fucking nightmare.